Hello, good morning and welcome. It's the 6th of December and it's just after 6 o'clock. Uh, and we'll start um, with the AUD USD. Uh, we've seen a little bit of um, strength last night and it knocked me out of my uh, my trades at this uh, at this level here. So um, I've got nothing in profit at the moment. <clears throat> we have actually crossed the trend line and it's kind of below the 50. I don't really see that as that strong, so uh, I'll just take that off. Uh, <clears throat> what I was expecting was a little bit more upside and then a move down, which would have been a bit stronger. So uh, I'll just leave well alone on that at the moment, uh, see what happens with it. Uh, we've got um, a, a, a continuing move down for the pound USD. Uh, we've got a short ratio, as I described yesterday. Uh, that that is fairly strong short uh, ratio for the pound, and I'm expecting to move back down to about the 129 level. Uh, as soon as my trade comes into profit, I'll be adding to my shorts further down. <clears throat> we've bounced nicely off the 69.1, and we're pointing down uh, on the RSI. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, Euro USD, uh, similar thing. I've got knocked out of two of my trades. <coughs> so, whoops, a daisy. That's an hourly chart. Put it on a daily chart. I got knocked out of two of my trades last night. Uh, I put another trade back in. Um, we're just above the 50 on the RSI, and I'm hoping this is going to move down today. Uh, we've got a commercial short ratio of 1.64 to 1. Uh, which is uh, about a five-year extreme. Um, <clears throat> we're just above the 50, and uh, I'm looking for a move uh, down below to uh, get into uh, a bearish area on the uh, on the RSI. Um, USD, a Japanese yen, a bit of strength last night in the uh, Japanese yen, and a little bit of weakness uh, in the uh, US dollar. Uh, we've got a commercial short ratio of 3.75 to 1. Uh, we've gone up on the RSI, we've uh, hit the 50, and we've come back down and cut the trend line. Um, I, I think we might just continue down from here. It's, um, it's a fairly convincing pullback. We've gone up uh, just above the 20 on the Bollinger Bands, the, the, move, the moving average. Uh, you know, I think we might just uh, see a more strength unfold now in the Japanese yen. Uh, I like this on the crosses, um, the old Japanese yen or the, the Euro Japanese yen. Uh, I think uh, this is a, a good uh, risk reward uh, sale. Um, the USD CAD, uh, we saw those fantastic figures come out for Canada um, on Friday. Um, We've really bobbed along the bottom. Um, I've got a trade in just above the resistance here. So um, I'm looking for a move above the 50 uh, and uh, obviously back into um, profit on my trade. I will be adding to uh, the longs as uh, as the uh, as the pair move up. Uh, I see quite a bit of upside in this and this, this uh, large candle down I saw as a buying opportunity. Uh, we've got a ratio of 2.72 to 1 short uh, and I think this, this will be increased um, this weekend uh, <coughs> because of, of this nice long candle down. I think quite a lot of the commercials will have increased their buying ratio. So there we go. Uh, USD Swiss franc <coughs> We've seen uh, a little bit of weakness in the dollar and uh, maybe a bit of strength in, in the uh, Swiss franc. Uh, we've uh, gone up, we've, we've touched the um, uh, resistance up here. It's at the, uh, at the 20 day moving average on the Bollinger Band. We have got a long ratio of 7.17 to 1 for the Swiss franc. So I'm expecting this to move back down. We've just touched the uh, 50 on the RSI, and now we're turning back down. 
I'd much prefer this on the crosses. I really don't want to trade um, the USD Swiss franc, but there you go. Uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Um, as I said before, this looks like it's going to uh, gain strength. <coughs> you know, uh, how far up it will go, I don't know. Uh, but I prefer to sell it back down. We got a commercials have got nearly a two to one uh, long ratio on this. Um, the uh, the support down here at about uh, sixty eight seems to be holding, and uh, we we keep coming down, touching it, bouncing back up, and uh, now we're actually just coming uh, above the fifty on the RSI. So we'll see where that goes, but. You know, fair play. I, if it if it gains a lot of strength, uh, I see it as a good selling opportunity. Um, silver's come down nicely for us. Uh, I've got a couple of trades, uh, three trades in profit, um, and I'm looking for more strength uh, on the dollar to give us weakness on the silver price. So um, we are actually just below the thirty point nine which is like a confirming a downward trend um, and uh, you know hopefully that that'll uh, that'll fall off nicely for me for the rest of the week <coughs> just a quick look this is the S&P 500 and this is a weekly chart and uh, I put a trend line on it uh, way back and uh, it, it has got to a fantastic high up here we, it got up about 80 I believe 80 yeah 81 81 and a quarter uh, it's come back down nicely and it's cut through my trend line uh, we'll see how far this goes but uh, I think we've had uh, three days now of red candles um, you know it does appear to be slowing up a little bit but um, if that could fall down nicely that that's that would help um, any any uh, loss of um, momentum or the bubble if the bubble breaks on the S&P um, then money flows into the US dollar and also into the Japanese yen uh, that would be a nice move but well we'll see we'll see what happens uh, it's just been going up and up and up for um, well about two years I believe uh, down here November 2015 so, yeah so um, we'll see where that goes okay well that's it for today cheers Thank